Hi, I'm Bill Ohms. I'm here to tell you about some exciting new improvements I've made to the Rose Engine Simulator software, including the ability to design your own rosettes and instantly see the resulting pattern that it cuts on your work. A couple of things you'll notice look different. Uh, in the first place, we have a data navigator window on the right side. This now allows you to edit any data, including the coordinates of the points or any cut points or anything else that you see later. One of the more important windows you'll want to pop open is the preferences window or I'm sorry, properties window. And that will give you more detail on anything that you select in the data navigator. Uh, one of the things I like to do is move the data navigator to a completely different position. For example, I'll just grab the top bar and drag it down here. Now my data navigator is down below the 3D view or the properties window, I can move right next to it. You can see a little red outline of where it's going to end up when you let the mouse go. Here's an example where I'm digitizing the outside of a box shape. You can see the points that I've entered here. I've also added simple black lines, sort of like a pen chuck, to show what the pattern is gonna look like. This is a quicker uh, view, a simpler view and quicker than the full rendering. And then you have the ability in the 3D window to just view only the shape or the shape plus those pen lines. Or of course you can render the full detail as we've done before. To define the rosette pattern, let's open two new windows that we have, specifically the rosette viewer so we can see what a rosette looks like and the pattern editor, which lets you define a pattern. So let's make a new point. I'm gonna call it bill one. And all you need to do is double click where you want your points to be. I'm just gonna make a little W-shaped pattern here. There's my nice W-shaped pattern. And over here in the Data Navigator window, you can edit all of these points manually. Now the fun thing about this is you can go to your Rosette Viewer now and select your pattern. There's your Rosette with that pattern. You can change the amplitude, um, change the phase, change the number of repeats you've got in your pattern. Let's make this um, point in the middle of the W much, much deeper. We change it and instantly see the effect on the cut pattern, the cut surface. So this gives you the ability to change a pattern and see the result on your cut work. Once you get it the way you like, you can save your file. Your rosette that you've made is saved in the XML file. More importantly, on the rosette viewer, we can write that rosette data into a spreadsheet file. So let's say that I want this to be a peak to peak amplitude of 0.2 and six repetitions. I write the rosette data and I can write the rosette data every half degree, every one degree and give it how big of a maximum radius I want. Let's just say three inch radius on the rosette and it will write a file for me and it's a text file that you can read into a spreadsheet program or take it to a CNC uh, place to make your own custom rosette from this data. Now, for those of you who like to make your own cutter tip profiles, we have the tool for you to make your own profiles of cutter tips. I'm gonna open the profile editor. And um, again, we see uh, a new window come up. Uh, the normal kind of a tool people use is a 60 degree point. And I'm going to make a new profile here. I'm going to call it Bill 2. And again, you can have either straight line fit or curve fit. I'm going to stick with the straight line fit again. So in this case, I'm going to do sort of a stair step pattern. You can mirror that pattern conveniently. I'm going to open a file where I've taken the time to... Um, have a real nice custom profile made here. Nice square shape. As with the rosettes, you can manually edit any of these points yourself in the data navigator and the property editor window. And here what I've done is made a box and just done a vertical line from top to bottom that's been indexed around. And so you can see the nice shape that that's made because I've got a profile that has multiple edges on it, we can see the cut pattern that that shape's going to make. There are a couple new features added in the preferences. 
Uh, I'm on a Mac, so preferences and select uh, corn lathe. Uh, you can set your phase shift that you see on the screen to be either in the engineering sense. 90 degrees would be a quarter phase shift, 180 would be half phase shift, or fractional, where 0.25 means a quarter of a pattern, 0.5 means a pattern. Some of you uh, have asked for that feature, so we've added there. You can also have default cutter radius for your favorite HCF or UCF cutters. Another feature is the ability to offset a curve. For example, I've got a simple shallow bowl here uh, that's a tenth of an inch thick. Let's say I want to make nested bowls, and the next one I want to be a tenth of an inch larger, tenth of an inch larger, so forth. You can go to Outline Offset Curve, and you have a number of choices. You can either offset it vertically or offset perpendicular. And that, in this case, that's what I want to do. So if I offset perpendicular by 0.1 inch, watch what happens as the curve jumps out by a tenth of an inch. See, now this point is below the zero line. You can easily print any window you have by selecting the window and choosing Print. However, in the case of the outline, that gives you a black window. Uh, if you want to have a scaled print, however, you can simply say File, Save Outline, and it will save it to a uh, file that uh, can be read into a spreadsheet or any other general purpose plot program. The resolution of the points is the same as the curve resolution that you've entered in the outline window. The new software has the ability to load libraries of rosettes that other people may make available. This is a simple matter of adding a plugin. For example, I've got a, uh, a preliminary version of some rosettes uh, that uh, give you both the MDF rosettes and we'll have some of the Lindahl white rosettes. These aren't quite ready to go, but once this is ready to go, you simply install them and they're a permanent part of your library. We also have the option of distributing updates automatically so that uh, periodically it will notify you that there's some software updates available. Beyond that, a person has the ability to write their own uh, rosette models if they uh, have a little bit of programming experience. For example, uh, here we see a simple source code for writing an MDF uh, SIGN24 rosette. Uh, most of this is boilerplate. All you need to do is to find the default repeat, the default amplitude, and in the case of a simple mathematical model, just a single line of code. Then you can compile this, distribute this to others. Then they can make this a permanent part of their Rose Engine Surface Simulator software. Thanks for watching the video. For more information, see my website, software.billohms.com. Thank you.